You got a point. You got a point. I guess. Is that a homeless guy? Oh hell yeah. What's up? Hello. Oh look at you. Holy shit. A fine shit. example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead, like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. Hmm. How long okay. have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. For some reason, I believe that. What changes to the town? Ones it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. Okay. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. Yeah, that guy. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. Or give her the best dicking now. of her life. Goodbye. Of her fucking life. I bet she's seen Arcadia Bay go through a lot of changes. And secrets. Hey, y'all got pizza back here. Hey, fuck you, dog. Garbage ass. That was a terrible fucking picture, by the way. Absolutely terrible picture. I want to shine the light on the things you do. You gonna take a picture of the homeless? You suck. God, is it still eight in the morning? Shit. Did my banjo song turn off? Oh shit. And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like yeah. you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I oh, will be. Jesus Christ. Promise. It's guilt trip in the fuck I know out things of were here. hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. 
I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Well, shit. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> Dancing on beds. Now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. Doing weird shit. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? Yep. I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Let's do that button. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to oh, eat? Oh, nitty gritty, I want some titties. Belgian waffle all day. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. You're the woman, you better finish that coffee. She's about to make you one of the most badass Belgian waffles you ever had in your fucking life. One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, Pronto. Oh, she said Pronto. One Belgian waffle at 12 o'clock high. Oh, yeah. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. Oh, man. It is hot as fuck. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. <sighs> I need to sip of my drink. Let's see. Hmm. Homestyle eggs and bacon, five fifty. Breakfast cheeseburger. Ah, cold potato applet. Morning glory. I do like mo apple sausage. Morning glory. Hmm. Bigfoot bacon. <sighs> That's some good shit. You got Linda's this. Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. Hello. Some beer and bacon before I die. This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with bacon. Fucker. You better sip that shit. Order ready. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. What, what kind of dive is this? Incoming. In, wait, the waffle? I can hear your stomach rumbling from here. Oh, I was about to look out the window. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Is it free? Still I got no can't money. Leave your woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. Mm, speak of the devil. Oh shit. Mom and Max together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Wait, what? We got no money in for yesterday. Oh god, mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl, a woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. Yeah, man, just ain't shit. You guys are good still the same. Happening to Another you. reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Put put on tequila. I like that song. Reminds me of Pee Wee Herman. That's out of the way. Oh God. Let's talk about your superpower. 
I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Uh... Let's see. A gun? I left it in the car. Eh, wrong answer. Yeah, okay, psychic car. girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Oh, okay. That Keys, was beyond epic fail. Cigarettes and Even something. Want to believe you. Come on, rewind it. Rewind it. Rewind it. Oh, shit. No, not yet. Wait, wait. Fuck. No! I wanted to look at the... Oh, well. That's... Oh, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Your car keys. Duh. Way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Had a teddy bear on it. Shit, it, it, a skull? A uh, skull keychain for a punk like you. That was so wrong. Put Max. the fucking keys okay, on the table. Okay, girl. Let me show you what's actually... Yeah, because I kind of botched that hardcore. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Okay, it was a key with a teddy bear. Cigarettes. Uh, what are they called? Garibaldi's? Ci oh, no, just cigarettes. And she has... Uh, 75, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 3, 4, 5, 6, 86 cents. 86 cents. So she has a teddy bear keychain, a panda keychain, cigarettes that have, I need to write this shit down because I'm going to fucking forget. Let me, let me, let me get the hook up real quick. So we got teddy bear keychain. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, that's not eight. Seven. Seven cigs. And we got eighty five cents. Eighty six cents. This is a warning ticket. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Uh... A parking ticket. You know me well. But, what is the exact time I was busted? Oh, fuck. I didn't... It said... Uh, there you go. 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Oh, spit. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. But, Something else in my pocket. But what I don't get is this bitch is talking shit about... She's talking shit, right? About your stuff. But then she's like, oh, you can count. How can your I count key. when it's in your pocket? Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. What? Amazeball? What? You what? have powers. I'll 
take that crap off the table, 